Umsum was playing football all afternoon under the bright sun. He ran, kicked, and laughed until his legs began to slow down. His eyes felt heavy, his body weak, and soon he could barely stand. He yawned and thought, why do we get tired? Determined to find out, Um Sum shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside a muscle cell, and what he saw huh? amazed him. Tiny engines called mitochondria were working non-stop, turning food and oxygen into energy. That energy, called ATP, powered every movement and thought. But after hours of running, the mitochondria looked exhausted. Um Sum watched as the muscles began to slow down. Some waste substances, like lactic acid, had also started to build up, making the muscles sore and heavy. He followed a signal traveling upward to the brain. There, he found another reason for his tiredness. Huh? The brain itself was using a huge amount of energy to keep everything running. Huh? As the brain used more and more fuel, tiny molecules called adenosine began to build up. The more adenosine built up, the sleepier oh. and slower the brain became. Umsum realized that tiredness wasn't a weakness, it was a signal. The body was reminding itself to pause so it could repair, refuel, and start fresh again. Smiling proudly, Umsum now understood the mystery. Umsum was watching a spooky movie late at night when suddenly a shadow moved behind him. Huh? His heart began to pound rapidly in his chest. He could feel each beat racing faster and faster. Surprised, he wondered, why does our heart beat faster when we're scared? Determined to find out, Omsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed near the heart, which was thumping loudly. Omsum followed the signals rushing through the nerves and traced them upward to the brain. Deep within the brain, a tiny region called the hypothalamus huh? had sensed danger and had sent out an emergency alert. The message traveled quickly through the nerves to small glands sitting above the kidneys, the adrenal glands. In an instant, the adrenal glands released a chemical called adrenaline into the bloodstream. Aumsum held on as it spread rapidly through the body, reaching the heart lungs and muscles. Huh? Immediately, the heart began beating faster and harder, pumping more blood to deliver oxygen quickly to every part of the body. He noticed that the lungs were also moving faster, pulling in more oxygen. Even the muscles were tightening, ready to move if needed. He realized this was called the fight-or-flight response the body's automatic reaction to fear or danger. Leaping back outside, Omsum smiled proudly. Omsum was walking on a chilly morning when a sudden breeze brushed across his arms. Tiny bumps rose on his skin, and the hair stood upright. Surprised, he wondered, why do we get goosebumps? Determined to find out, Amsam shrank and entered his own body. He landed just beneath the skin, among rows of tiny hair follicles. The brain had sensed the cold and commanded the skin to react. Huh? Immediately, small muscles at the base of each hair follicle, called erector pili muscles, started pulling hard, tugging the hairs upright like soldiers standing at attention. The skin around <laughs> each follicle rose into a little bump creating the familiar goosebump pattern. Basically, when the hairs stood up, they trapped a thin layer of air close to the skin. That layer acted like insulation, helping to keep warmth inside. The goosebumps rose again, this time huh? not due to cold, but triggered by the brain due to sudden fear or strong emotions. The bumps appeared as part of the fight-or-flight <laughs> response, a survival reflex from long ago. In animals, raised fur made them look bigger and more threatening to predators. In humans, the bumps remained, even though the fur was mostly gone. <laughs> the mystery was solved. Omsum was playing in a swimming pool 
when he noticed huh? something unusual. On land, carrying a bucket of water felt heavy. Huh? But when he stepped into the pool, the same bucket felt much lighter. Surprised, Amsam wondered, <laughs> why do we weigh less in water? Curious, Amsam took a deep breath and dived into the ocean. To test his idea, he picked up a rock from the ocean floor. On land, the rock would have been almost impossible to carry, but underwater, he could lift it with ease. But when Amsum tried to push the rock down, the water pushed it back up. Even his own body felt lighter, almost as if the ocean was holding him in its arms. No matter how much he tried to sink, the water kept lifting him toward the surface. Then Amsum realized what was happening. Water was creating an upward force opposite to his weight. This upward force was buoyancy. It acted on everything placed in water, whether a rock, a bucket, or even his own body. Amsum thought about ships floating on the ocean. Even though they were enormous and heavy, the water pushed up on them with enough force to keep them from sinking. He now had the answer to his puzzle. <laughs>